In this lecture, we'll be talking about property validation in components. Now, property validation becomes an important topic when you are developing a component that is intended to be used by others. And it is possible in view for a component to specify requirements for the properties it is receiving. And if a requirement is not met, a view will be emitting warnings regarding that. So whenever we create a property, as we have been creating a couple of them over here in previous lectures like Publisher and Prize, you notice that we were defining the type of it, couple of them like string number. There can be other types as well defined for a property and they can be boolean, function, object, array. So apart from string and number, we can have boolean, function, object and array as types for our properties. Apart from that, we can also specify the default value that is going to hold whenever the component is initialized. So the initial value is going to be there when we define default. Now, if you want to make a property mandatory, what you can do is you can make use of the required attribute. So here, if I say required as true, save this and go to my app.view file and here you can see that we were making use of publisher. Now let's say I just delete it from here. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm not passing the property publisher in our component. And here we are saying that it's required. So when I'll try to execute my application, view will be emitting a warning message that this particular property is required and you need to supply it. There you go, you can see that view warning is there. Missing required property publisher found in component and this is the path name for that particular component. So that way you can make sure that the property is provided by making use of the required attribute when you're defining your property. Apart from that, we can also make use of a custom validator function. So for our price property, you can see that we have included a validator which is returning true only when the value provided to it is greater than 10. And here in our app.view file, you can see that we are passing the value for price as 9. And please note that we are making use of vbind. So this value is actually being passed as a number, not as a string. So now if I save this and run it, here you will notice that it says invalid property, custom validator check failed for property price. Now if I go ahead and make this value 11, that is greater than 10. So now you can see that that particular warning message is not there at all. So this way you can include a custom validator and then a required field as well to your property in order to implement property validation in your components.